What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to a super quick Linux video. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can install Wine on Arch. We'll start by opening up a new terminal. First of all, we'll need to enable multi-lib in Pac-Man configuration. I'll be using NVim, but you can use Nano. Then we'll be checking Etsy pacman.conf. In here, we'll be searching for brackets multi-lib, as you can see here, and we'll be uncommenting both of these over here, just like that. Once we've done so, we'll save the file and now run sudo pacman syu to update and upgrade our system. Once it's complete, we should be able to run sudo pacman s wine wine tricks wine mono and wine gecko. These are all of the main program files that you'll be using in order to set up and use wine on your system. It's around 1.8 gigs once it's installed and around 400 megs to download, but at least you only need to do this once if you're only going to be using wine. If instead you'll be using some something like Steam to play Windows games, there'll be further downloads past that, but this is specifically just for Wine, and I'll mainly be using it to test out things like installing simple Windows applications and testing Windows distributions of Rust programs that I create. For example, in my little Rust program here, you can see that in my releases, I have a Rust test.exe. If I were to run cargo test target followed by my program here, you'll see that it fires up and a Wine window pops up where our program is then tested. And of course it ran successfully. This is a niche application. If you're programming in Rust, this will be useful for you here, but more than likely you're looking to install something like, let's say a Windows program like, I don't know, Audacity. Of course, there are Linux versions of it, but this is just an example. If we head to download Audacity for Windows, that is Windows 64-bit, it'll download an EXE file. When we simply choose to run this, it'll start up with Wine, and here we can install it and use the program as per usual. So once it's installed, we can fire it up, and there we go. We're now running Audacity under Wine on Linux. Pretty cool. If you'd like to configure Wine, you can use Wine, Wine CFG, which will pop up a window where you can control the Windows version, libraries, graphics options, desktop integration, drives, audio, and about. To use something as cursed as Internet Explorer, for example, we can use sudo pacman s double tack needed samba gnu tls and lib32 gnu tls. Once we install these, we can use wine i explore and this will open up the wine internet explorer. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend signing in anywhere with an internet explorer browser, but hey, there you go. Finally, if you want a more easy way to control your wine, you should consider installing wine GUI. To install it, you can of course download and build it from the wine GUI GitHub page, but of course that's quite a bit of effort. Alternatively, you could use the Arch user repository using a tool called Yay. Simply running Yay, it'll update your system and packages, and when it has, we can use Yay Wine GY. Simply hitting enter, it'll search the Arch user repository for Wine GUI. We'll be choosing one, which is build from source, so we can get the latest version. I'll hit enter, confirm, confirm, and now we'll wait a few minutes for this to build. Probably 30 seconds later, it's ready to install. We can confirm it. And now if we run Wine GUI from our applications list, it starts up and there we go. We can manage our system. In here, you can see I've got Audacity, Minesweeper, Notepad, Internet Explorer, etc. We can edit our system, choose the application version, audio driver, virtual desktop window, etc. And if we enable the virtual desktop window, for example, you should see that we now have a very small but functional sort of Windows desktop whenever we run a program such as Audacity. Using start, we can run, use the control panel, etc. Super simple. Finally, in order to uninstall applications from Wine, we can use Wine Uninstaller, which will pop up a new window, or of course, not a new window if we don't have the desktop enabled. So there we go. You'll see that in this small pop-up, we can uninstall, say, Audacity, which will pull up the apps uninstaller. We can click through it and there we go. It's uninstalled. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. You now know how to install Wine on Arch Linux or Arch-based distros. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.